Good afternoon, everybody. Um, thank you very much for the organizers for the invitation and, and coming and representing UNICEF. Actually, I'm representing UNICEF Somalia, but I'm also giving this presentation on behalf of uh, UNICEF um, and give acknowledgement to my colleague from UNICEF New York and Supply Division who are not able to come. So I'm providing this slide on behalf of UNICEF and uh, they are very quick slides and I also do realize that uh, some of the information has been already covered in other slides or maybe in the discussion as well. So I will I'll try to go quickly through some of this. So the, the presentation will cover two parts. One is the programmatic part, and the other one is the supply component of it, which is uh, probably more relevant to countries here who are keen to know what is the overall supply availability and the prices for vaccines. So overall, as UNICEF, and this is not um, only UNICEF, I think we do that support in coordination with our other partners, organizations, including WHO, and other NGOs and international uh, NGOs are available in countries. We support the new vaccine introduction as part of the overall immunization program. And our support is guided by the Global Action Plan for pneumonia and diarrhea. This is very specific to the PCV and rotavirus vaccine introduction. And then also, of course, we are guided all by the immunization agenda 2030. And then UNICEF has its own um, roadmap for immunization 2030, and these are all um, these documents are all uh, emphasizing and highlighting the importance of new vaccine introduction, including PCV and ROTA. Now, um, in terms of what UNICEF support uh, uh, is provided to countries, and I can speak uh, from my side as well as, as, as an immunization person in Somalia. So we support the advocacy uh, to the government and for resource mobilization. And, uh, and you know that UNICEF takes really big part in procurement of traditional vaccines, but also play a role in actually supporting countries and mobilization of resources uh, for new vaccine introductions. We do our part and advocate in positioning the PCV and rotavirus uh, uh, introductions as part of the overall uh, pneumonia uh, control strategies. As well, we support countries in developing Gavi application. And this is, this is a big undertaking, you all know that, uh, you know, developing a Gavi application, whether it is full portfolio planning, or a separate uh, new vaccine introduction standalone or concurrent introduction. So we work with our uh, Minister of Health counterpart and WHO and other organizations to support Minister of Health in developing those applications. And coming from Somali country office, we just submitted our full portfolio planning uh, to Gabi, which include PCV and rotavirus introduction plus MR. Um, most importantly, UNICEF also does some work around coverage and equity, and we utilize the data generated from those assessment to actually target addressing issues of under-vaccinated or unvaccinated children in underperforming areas. So we use, we leverage those data generated and uh, we, we direct our program interventions and support the Minister of Health and other partners to address uh, inequities in those areas. And of course, we do the capacity building uh, uh, through our all, overall support to primary health care, community health workers, or specifically to uh, immunization uh, staff. And we contribute to the readiness of the vaccine introduction. I think all of countries who are now planning to introduce, there is going to be uh, exercise for these countries to prepare themselves to introduce vaccines in 2024, for example, in Somalia. So there will be a readiness um, exercise to check on all of these aspects. Um, again, um, one of the major tasks that UNICEF does and support Ministry of Health on is actually the demand promotion and addressing the vaccine hesitancy and issues of demand barriers and gender barriers as well. We strengthen the immunization supply chain and we are procuring um, also on behalf of Gavi and the support of other development partners, World Bank um, and, and uh, Africa CDC. We support countries in actual expansion and extension of cold chain um, system in the countries as part of the overall health system support. And of course, uh, whenever a country is actually planning to introduce new vaccines, then we do the procurement uh, um, uh, through UNICEF to support these two vaccines. And then of course, we will all be happy to support uh, the documentation and sharing of lesson learned out of the introduction plan in, in countries. Now, the second part of the presentation, very few slides that talks about the, the supply part of it. And I will speak briefly about the pneumococcal uh, uh, vaccine market update. 
And in this slide, there are two links here where you can access and you get details about the overall PCB supply and demand update. And this is a 2020 data, but uh, you know, continuously supply division is updating this data. And then you have the unit price as well, so you can access this information in this slide. Okay, um, so with regard to the PCV supply, uh, there was a tender uh, that was conducted by UNICEF supply division in 2021, and that has resulted in actually very good outlook of supply. There is adequate supply uh, of PCV, so we are not facing any problem of PCV availability. Um, and if you see here, there are three manufacturers that are currently supplying PCV through UNICEF. And you will see the details of each product. Uh, this information has been also presented in some previous slide, but it's important for you also to understand these are the diff different um, manufacturers, uh, the presentation, the formulation of the vaccine, the shelf life, and the space required per dose. So it can also help in the planning as we are all developing our GAVI applications and also the, exp the introduction of these vaccines. Okay, um, on this slide you will see this is a, um, a snapshot of the historical procurement, supply and outlook, and pricing for PCV. As I mentioned, uh, there is a globally uh, sufficient supply to meet the demand from countries. We're not anticipating any problem with, with PCV supply in the coming years. However, UNICEF supply division requires countries to actually have an early and advanced information whenever a country is planning to introduce PCV. So that, that early notification is important, and there is a, a lead time required uh, before we get in the vaccine into the country. So the time the country is actually planning to introduce, and there is an intention to produce, this information has to be communicated quickly to supply division so that this can be considered uh, on the procurement. Um, and you could you see in this graph, the blue bars are actually the the sum of those is uh, under demand over years, and you see the weighted average price is actually decreasing. This is because of the availability of, of supply over years. So the price of PCV is decreasing over years, and you see here in the blue font that the, the prices for PCV, um, uh, the PCV 10 for those is 3.05, and then we have PCV 10 is from SII, and that is 2.9, and then again, we have another five dose presentation from SSI 1, 1.5, and then we have the Pfizer vaccine, 3.3 dollars per dose, and then again another Pfizer vaccine, also four dose per vial, that is uh, 2.75. So these are the prices available to countries, including the four countries in this room. So you can also already think of that when you are planning your introduction. Think about the future co-financing and how much this will cost you in your immunization program. Again, um, I've said this information in the previous slide, but it's really, really important that when a country is intending to introduce, please communicate this information as soon as possible to the supply division so that it can be incorporated in the overall demand for um, new vaccine introduction. I would like to highlight that as we speak now, the forecast for 2024 is ongoing, and countries have been given a deadline of submitting their 2024 forecast by 18 of September. So for those who are uh, planning to introduce in 2024, Somalia is one of them, so that those quantities of vaccine required should be incorporated in the 2024 vaccine forecast. Now for rotavirus, again, there are two links here that you can access and, and uh, get in more information. Um, so for rotavirus, there are four manufacturers that UNICEF is dealing with and, and procuring vaccine on behalf of the countries with the GAVI support. Um, there are five presentations. These are the one highlighted in brown color. These are the five presentations that UNICEF procures out of 14 WHO pre-qualified products. So we only procure these five products through, uh, from these manufacturers. Um, so, um, uh, but you know that Merck has exited Gavi market in, in, um, in 2022. So that product is no longer available through uh, UNICEF procurement. Merck vaccine is no longer available, which is Rotarix. Okay, same for um, uh, rotavirus, as we said for PCV, the, the supply situation is expected to stabilize 
following the multiple supply disruptions. Many of you remember what happened in 2021 and 2022 when there were some manufacturers were not able uh, to, to meet the, the demand so that there was a disruption in supply. But then uh, after that, we're expecting the supply to stabilize and we should be okay in the coming few years. The weighted average price for Gavi eligible countries is also declining and that's good news. So we will, we're seeing a decline in the price. So that is also important for consideration as we are planning for introduction. And these are the prices also available uh, for rotavirus out of um, these manufacturers. Thank you very much. And uh, again, thanks for the invitation and talking to you today. Thanks.